You may be wondering what's up with the really loud cowbell. Uh, you know who rings cowbells besides cows and Will Ferrell? Uh, ski jumping fans ring cowbells. You can hear them ringing the cowbells. Uh, this cowbell was sent to the Rachel Maddow Show more than a year ago by the good folks at Women's Ski Jumping USA. They sent it as sort of a tactile reminder of their quest to have women's ski jumping anointed as an official Olympic event. Women failed to get into the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver, even after, a, even after jumpers filed a lawsuit in Canada claiming discrimination. What's the case that there was discrimination at work here? Well, it was partly that men have been ski jumping in the Olympics since 1924. Women were ski jumping in international competitions and doing so very well, but they were not allowed to do it at the Olympics. Uh, but it was also that as recently as 2005, the president of the International Ski Federation felt comfortable saying this out loud. Don't forget, it's like jumping down from, let's say, about two meters on the ground about a thousand times a year, which seemed not to be appropriate for ladies uh, from a medical point of view. Those delicate lady parts. See, they don't like the jumping. Delicate man parts, they love jumping. Uh, despite the compelling nature of the lady parts don't like it argument, uh, today women ski jumpers got the news they have been hoping for as the International Olympic Committee announced it will include women ski jumping in the 2014 games in Russia. Yay! Women will only be allowed to jump in one event as opposed to the three that men get. So not perfect, but it's a start. And if the tough slog that got the women ski jumpers this far is anything to go by, they will get parity for those last two events too. As you well know, for some fevers, the only prescription is, you know. We'll be right back.